Today I'm gonna to be trying out a new food called Pack Pods by Reef Nutrition. Uh, this is a product I've been interested in for a while and finally bought and decided to try. First impressions are that these Coca Pods are smaller than I expected, being in the 500 to 800 micron range, but they are rich in carotenoids, as you can see by the color, and high in DHA omega fatty acids. They claim that these Coca Pods will feed fish and corals of all different types. So I'm gonna put that to the test. The first test I wanted to do was run the pack pods through a 250 micron sieve. This was to double check that the pack pods were the size that it claims on the bottle, as well as make sure the carotenoids were not something that was added after processing. As I ran the salt water through, you could see that all of the pack pods were retained in the sieve, meaning they are greater than 250 microns, as well as they still have that coloration, which means the pigmentation was not something added after. I added some of the pack pods into a glass bowl, and now let's move on to test number two. Do the fish like it? Immediately when I put it in, the anthias start going to town, as well as the yellow chorus wrasse. The clownfish doesn't care and starts swimming away and shows no interest. The same thing happens with my bigger fish in here, such as my fox face and my tang. They just keep swimming and doing their thing and don't express any interest. On to test number three, SPS corals. I'll draw your attention to the top left, you can see that some of the polyps close up around the copepods and shrink down in. So this one, I would say, was a success. Test number four, the LPS torch coral. These are notorious for eating. Having fed bigger pieces such as mysis shrimp to torch corals before, it didn't quite get the same response, but it did get some polyp retraction as it was taking it to its mouth. I'd say this one was a moderate success. Test number five, a softie. I have yet to see this mushroom completely fold up like other mushroom corals, but it did start to have some retraction, which was indicative that it was eating. Overall, the pack pods performed well against all of my tests, and is great if you're trying to feed smallmouth fish such as my anthias, but not so great if you're trying to feed bigger ones such as tangs and fox faces. If your goal is to spot feed or broadcast feed corals, then this might be something to consider for SPS as well as softies. Overall, I would say that this is a great food.